Hello shrimp and fish people. In this video I want to show you how you can make your own egg tumbler. Sooner or later you'll find yourself in a situation where one of your buried shrimps dies and you want to save the unhatched eggs. What you can do is carefully remove the eggs from the dead female and artificially incubate them. For the eggs to successfully hatch they need to be moved constantly. So what I used to do is place the eggs in a strainer and I would position that strainer under some gentle water flow uh, usually the outtake of a sponge filter or the intake of a breeder box. The main reason for making the eggs move uh, is to prevent any fungal infections. Okay so let's start our project. You're gonna need the following things some kind of clear tube so that you can see the eggs inside uh, to be able to adjust the uh, tumbling uh, filter media bag or some kind of small mesh uh, fine enough uh, to prevent the eggs from escaping rubber band to uh, secure the uh, fine mesh onto the clear tube air hose airflow adjuster to adjust the tumbling an air pump and a heater suction cup to secure the egg tumbler to the glass. I had a sponge filter I wasn't using so I used the parts from that. So here's how I did it. I just want to point out that in version 1 uh, you probably noticed that I didn't drill a hole into the clear tube. The reason for that is uh, because the pieces were from a, a sponge filter. It already had a place where the air hose was attaching and there was no reason for me to uh, drill another hole. I also added some fluval stratum substrate into the clear tube to test uh, the functionality of the egg tumbler before I actually put real eggs inside. After confirming that it actually works, um, I was playing with the flow adjuster to see how much I can 
make the eggs bounce uh, to fine tune it to a, a appropriate level because you don't want too much bouncing. You maybe maybe one eight to one quarter tops. Finally, the shrimp eggs are inside, and now we just have to wait for them to hatch. So hopefully this video was informative and you learned a thing or two. Uh, if you liked the video, please like. And uh, if you didn't subscribe yet, please subscribe for future updates and new videos. Thank you for watching.